Hey guys, it's Mike again. I'm doing the second tutorial here on doing a walk cycle in Carrera. The first one I just basically got the character a little more ready and I did a bit of stuff in the scene settings. Hopefully that's still there. Yes, it is. Okay, so first thing we're going to do, we select the clip here and we're going to, we want to edit it. So we hit the edit clip button and we're ready to go. Okay, so we're going to switch to director's camera and start. Switch this one to front, whoops, this one to front view. Okay, and we're going to start with it. Let's start with this bone here. We're going to zoom in here so we can see what's going on. So let's rotate this guy back. We'll rotate this one, and then we'll rotate this one forward. And get a nice sort of stride here going. That's not a bad stride. And if we go down here just to make sure he's sort of level, and this here should be flat or horizontal. And so now we can see it's not lining up. Although this part here should be straight, his leg should be, uh, it doesn't work there. Sometimes you have to do it in this side. Make the leg straighter, uh, it'll look more natural or something. So that's good. It lines up here and here, which is good. Um, let's go here. We are in the, make sure we are in the the very first frame of the animation, that's a good thing to check too. So we're going to rotate this arm down, all the way down to its his side. We'll do this one quickly as well. Uh, it's not there, so we're going to have to do it here. And use the yellow rings, or probably the green ring, ring works as well. We're going to rotate it a little past, like into his side. We should have and then we're going to move the arm behind him, well in this case in front of him on this side. He's going to go up and in front of him sort of line him up, try and line him up with his heel roughly. And then grab this one here and move it up a little just to, to give him a, a slight bend of the arms. Grab the palm and rotate in a little. Okay, and do basically the same thing with this arm over here. Select this arm. It doesn't open there, so we do it here. Just basically line it up. We can, we can zoom in here so that it's roughly the same which it's close. Okay, so we'll grab... Oh, we gotta move this arm in behind him like we did for the other one. And then grab his wrist here and rotate it in a little. Can't use the the access rings, you gotta use the yellow ring for whatever reason. Okay, and a couple other things I wanna do just to help make it look a little better going to rotate this so when he swings this arm forward this shoulder should come forward so I should put go to the motion tab and make note of how much we rotate this guy's shoulders so that's 5.3 oh that doesn't look too bad so 10 well, let's do 10 here minus 10 that's good and we have to do something similar down here, so when he puts his front foot forward, that means he's going to rotate. He's going to rotate this way. So let's rotate this way a bit and see which way it goes. It's plus something. So let's do. Let's try plus five. 
that should be good so let's check these here and hopefully we can remember them you can write it down and so it's minus 10 and it's 5 for that so we also should come in here and move this around right now his feet are too far to far par, far apart so we're going to move that one over to that much and grab his heel here and move it over like that so right about where they meet or come in contact in the front view so that's good i think that's basically done you could you could move his fingers all over the place just to make it look better because he looks rather stiff but that's we'll do that or i'll do that at another at another time so we should grab this bone here and lower him onto the our ground okay not working um when I, that does, when it doesn't work i got to change this over here to none so there's no constraints on this bone anymore so we should be able to move it down and we can so there that's good the heel looks that's pretty good it could go up a little more let's go up down a little using the nudge and arrow keys that's good okay so now the next thing we want to move on to our next frame um, I'm going to do it sort of in place, and then I'm going to, once I've got the, the main frames done, I'll move the character forward. But for now, we're just going to do it in place so we can use his pose here as a guide for our, our next frame. Um, so we have a second and a half here, and we want to chop it in half, the time frame. So it's like, um, I'm going to need to do some math here. Each second is 24 frames, so 24 plus 12 is 36, divided by 2 gives you 18. So if we move our timeline here to 18, that should put us in the middle of our timeline. Um, so let's look at our care. It's, he's got nice straight leg here. This one's a little bent. The arms are slightly bent, which is good. They're in front of them here, and the feet are together there, so that looks good. So we can do the next one. So we're on the second keyframe. <clears throat> so let's select this leg here, and just keep it, look here in the rotation things just to see which one is working, because sometimes I don't think they line up or match, and it is the right one here so we'll move it back till the top the hip bone lines up like that and then we're gonna select this bone here chances are this won't work oh it does work here so we'll move this back till it lines up and that's pretty good there and then we'll select the bone for the soul or whatever I called it soul so we'll call it soul like that okay and if we want to go to the first keyframe just to roughly and then select this bone or so it's rotation is 151 well, I don't know if that's gonna work so we'll go to the go back to this keyframe over here let's just rotate it forward And the heel should, uh, we got to straighten out the leg, because we had the leg straight in the other one. Down instead of up. That's not bad. So we'll select this bone here. It's a karate guy. That's good. It may have been close. It was 151. Okay. 
So that's good. We just need to move this guy so it's more flat. Or not flat, but straight. Okay, that's good. Um, and then we can do this guy here. If we go back to the first keyframe, we rotated it five degrees. So if we go to the key f our keyframe, we go five, we should go back to zero, and then minus five, because we're the exact opposite. That's good. And if we go up here, this one here was minus 10, so we'll go 10 here. And that's good. And then we can rotate these arms. It doesn't have to be exactly opposite. Let's, I want to look at this guy over here. So I can line up the skeleton on the wall. And then rotate this guy using the green one and it works. And I lined up the wrist joint. I could see the wrist joint there and right there. So that should be close. Although it it moved out that way, so we want it behind him. So let's uh, go back to the first keyframe and see roughly how close those are. It could go a little more this way, this one. So we go back. Uh, that's going to be close. It doesn't have to be perfect. And this one here should go in. Let me go back. Eh, it's close enough for me. And we can go down here. The feet are a little different. Okay, if we go back to the first keyframe, this foot is going to stay on the ground. So this foot has can't can't move in our next keyframe. But this one will. It's going to swing out to the side. It's going to like go like that. So this keyframe has to stay. We just have to keep that in mind. Um, okay, I think we'll, we'll probably change that now. So we'll go to the, if you look at this foot here, and we're in the first keyframe, now we go to the second one. We're gonna move that guy. So we're gonna go like this. So go back to the first keyframe. We'll line the do the lineup trick again. We'll line up that root bone there. We're in the first keyframe. Now we go to the second keyframe. So there's our root bone here. So we gotta move this guy over just about like that. Which is good. So we go back to the first one. It's lined up. Go to the second one. We're in the second, yeah, so that works. Okay, so that should be good. Um, we're going to actually duplicate this first key frame and put it at the very last one. I don't know if I should do that now or not. Well, maybe I will. So we're going to select, uh, I think it's good. We're going to select all of our keyframes. Stop here and drag it out. Control Alt and drag it all the way out to the, the end of our timeline. So now we go here. Go scroll all the way back up here. Go back to the very first keyframe. So if we go from keyframe first keyframe, second keyframe, third keyframe. That wasn't bad. And it also, our character, if you look here in the front view, go to the very first keyframe, which is to the very beginning. 